The Log4j vulnerability is serious business. This zero-day flaw affects the Log4j library and can allow an attacker to execute arbitrary code on a system that depends on Log4j to write log messages. The vulnerability has the highest CVSS score of 10.0, so you need to pay attention. One of the big problems is knowing if you're vulnerable. This is complicated by the many ways Log4j can be deployed. Are you using it as part of a Java project? Is it rolled into a container? Did you install it with your distribution package manager? And if so, which Log4j packages did you install? Or did you install it from source? Because of this, you might not even know if your server is vulnerable. Fortunately for Linux servers, GitHub user Rubo77 created a script that will check for packages that include vulnerable Log4j instances. It's in beta, and it's not 100%, but it's a great place to start. Understand, this script doesn't test for jar files that were packaged with applications, so do not consider it anything more than a launching point to start your forensics. I tested this script against a server that I knew had a vulnerable Log4j package installed, and it correctly tagged it. Here's how you can run that same script on your Linux servers to find out if you might be vulnerable. Log into your Linux server and issue the command wget https colon slash slash raw.githubusercontent.com slash rubo77 slash log4j underscore checker underscore beta slash main slash log4j underscore checker underscore beta dot sh dash q dash capital O dash pipe bash. The output of the command will give you some indications if your server is vulnerable. As you can see, my instance includes lib log 4 j 2 java version 2.11.2-1, which includes the vulnerability. In that case, I should immediately upgrade to 2.15.0. If it's not available, the problem will persist until the package is patched. Remember, this script is not a guarantee, but a good place to start. Keep digging to make sure you've updated every necessary package to avoid getting hit by this vulnerability. Hey everybody! Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our Tech Republic YouTube channel. And be sure to check out more how-to videos at How to Make Tech Work.